an old city, one of the oldest cities in Morocco. And it's full of tiny little streets that weave and twist and carry around in circles. I'll take you back to them now that we've found the main road through the center of the Medina. It's almost like time stood still here in this city. I've just seen a lady collecting water from the well. In front is one of the 360 mosques that are here in Fez. You think you're going the right direction and suddenly it's wrong. Anyway, we can just walk until we find whatever we don't find and have fun doing it. Language barrier is a bit of a deterrent as well, since our French is useless. We've now found a way that leads to a number of restaurants, so I'm thinking that might put us on a good path to some kind of success. Even he knows my source. <laughs> <laughs> the blue gate, we found it. The, to the left of the gate is the water distribution system for the whole of the, the city. It was developed in the 11th century. It's comprised of several underground entrances which are made of ceramic cylinders inserted into each other forming a complex underground network. The everyday marketplace. <laughs> and then we went and bought more carpets. So now we're on our way back to our Riyadh. Up the hill. This is a ceramic school from 1331 with all the handmade ceramics from where the students came to learn. Yes, you're working. Yes, you're machine. No, no. Really artisanal. Working all in the head. This building is from 1014. Exploration. It's in, it's in renovation right now. The end of this very little lane. Like this. Oh. And one like this. Uh -huh. And of Fatima, bring good luck. Walking through a thousand years of buildings and history. Some are inhabited and some are in restoration phase. Wow. This is the school for the children, the little children. It's a very old building. This is old houses. Design old. Yes, old very. design. This old one. This mosque is from 1249. Structural work to stop the buildings from falling in on each other. The hammam. Very old scales here. This building has been beautifully restored. It's the men doing the embroidery. All these tiny little shops. Hi, man. How are you? Only mm. by hand, the broadery with silk. Mm, very expensive. The building we are entering is from 1060. This is an old bronze store.
This is a smaller area with tiny little rooms tucked all the way around it. Incredible. 1,000 years old. Oh, for the marriage, yes. Transports the bride from the father's house. Place Serafina. All the copper smiths, boiler makers, they all craft their products here and have done for hundreds of years. Stunningly beautiful. Look at this. No, no, no items, please. The rope shop. Around every corner there is some industry. This is the Berber house. In Morocco, the men do the weaving of the blankets, which is always done on a horizontal loom, and the women do the rugs, which is always on a vertical loom. We have symbols repeated many times. That's me, because before in the mountain we didn't have schools. So each woman must teach her children. So she make them symbols and she repeat them many times. Like to learn. And once they learn, she make them examine. She make them examine to make them more like that one with the symbols yeah. separate. That is which we call tifinar. Tifinar, like, like a group of symbols. If we say alphabet in your language, yep. we say tifinar. Oh. This one, the symbol again. This one, the symbol of the luck, the symbol of a relationship, the symbol against the evil eye. Symbols, different symbols. And this is this is um. This is wool and silk. Wool and silk. And seventy percent it's embroidered, thirty percent it's woven. Mm -hmm. Strong. Very strong. You keep your money forever. <laughs> It's a beautiful carpet. Medinine tombs. Thirteen hundred and eighty-three. Tannery. The leather hanging to dry. Yeah. It's very smelly here. They only use natural products to cure the leather and to dye the leather. Thank you. 